Good morning, everybody. Um, it's so annoying. Let's try that again, shall we? Morning, everybody. Um, so it is a lovely day today. Come out. I'm going on a dog walk with my friend Bryony, who's just got back from a month's travelling round um, Eastern Europe. So I'm really excited to see her. I saw Beth the other day. We went for lunch with her and Joss. Um, and now it's time to go see Bryony. Um, I'm actually... <coughs> go oh, I'm actually going up to London this evening as I've got an interview tomorrow. I'm really excited. Um, it's at New Look... Um, not at their head office, it's at their studio in Bermondsey. I'm not actually quite I'm not sure what that is, I need to city mapper it. Um, but yeah, it's for a product copywriter job, so it sounds really amazing. And um, so yeah, I need to pack for that. And then spending the afternoon at the pop-up shop that I mentioned on my blog, um, ACF Fashion. So I'm going to start that tomorrow as well. And then there, yeah, so... I thought I'd take you with me today. Not quite sure who you are, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, yeah, let's go for a nice, lovely dog walk. <laughs> Hello, Munchkin. Where are you going for walkies? Where are you going for walkies to Briny? Are Briny Sticky and Rosie? Are you? No, we're not. <laughs> What are these raspberries? What are these raspberries? No, blackberries. Blackberries. He gets too excited and closes his mouth too quickly. <laughs> <laughs> He's just not even close. Puppy, do you want another one? What's this? Yummy. Oh. Oh, yeah, we should have bought a bucket. There's no, so many. No, there's no. so many up high. Look how high those ones are. So no one can reach them. That's probably a good thing, really. Yeah, yeah I can't believe that I thought I thought those things were rabbits when they're clearly footballs. I can't believe you thought these were raspberries when they're clearly bats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really going. I'm really going to get stung. Oh my god! So on my first um, walk with Mum, yeah, got so juicy. It's huge. It's like a little football. Good, bad? Very really good. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Do you want to go? <laughs> and then you can push, oh! <laughs> so many dogs to watch out. Ah! Come on, go away! Go away! 
Granny the Dog Whisperer. Or not? Rosie. Although, you know, club. <laughs> you know, Beth always says that about me. Yeah. Like, on my birthday post, she was like, oh, you're such a pony. She was a pony girl too. <laughs> I don't really know. Beth, did you hear that? You're also a pony girl. Yeah, but she I was feel the like the original you're... pony girl. She no, was, like, you're she the was original... keener than me. You're the original pony girl. Because you went to pony club. Yeah, but Beth would have done. She wanted to. Yeah, but you went. You love she pony club. Did another little alteration this morning. I didn't film this one just because it literally took me like 20 minutes. Um, I've had this skirt from Urban Outfitters. It's like a really nice... Hang on. This skirt. It's like a really, really nice, just like A-line, just black denim skirt. Um, but it was um, always a bit too big for me around the waist. And because I have got quite a small waist, I always like to be quite cinched in. And when it's a bit big, it just makes me look straight up and down, which is not very flattering in my opinion. Um, especially with someone that's used to kind of having stuff tight around the waist. Um, so I just put in a little dart at the back because it's already got a couple of darts in it that have all, that were in there previously. So you've got one there. But I just sewed this one in. <laughs> I know it's a bit funny because of the label, um, but um, yeah, just literally just all you all, you, all, all I had to do. Sort of the ter terrible camera angle right now. You just have to sew just like I don't know if you can see the blue stitching. You just sew like a diagonally up line towards the top of the whatever you're darting, hemming or altering, whatever. Um, and it will just um, kind of mark it to shape a bit more. So I'm going to wear that today on my way to London, um, which I need to finish packing for because um, I need to somehow find a way of packing my interview outfit without it creasing. I don't know if Tom's got an iron yet. So it could be interesting. Hey. I think I'm nearly done packing, not quite, but just got my flapjacks for Benj and I've somehow managed to lose. I'm really annoyed because yesterday I went shopping with my dad and I bought some stuff from Boots. I bought um, face wipes, deodorant, boring stuff like that. Um, and I'm just, what am I doing? Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. And I bought a number seven, my face powder, the one I, it, it's such a lovely powder, like, like it literally makes your face look so, 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 so nice. And um, I just, it's, I've lost it. I've literally lost it. I don't know where I've put it. I don't know if I've left it there. I rung, I rung up the boots and they said, we haven't got it. So it's really, really, really irritating. Um, but I need to iron my trousers before I go. Um, and then I need to get going, really. Look how rosy my cheeks are. Literally, like, permanently rosy. So, I can't remember what else I filmed earlier. I think it was just me getting ready. So, I met my brothers now in London. And um, I should probably get quite an early night, seeing as I've got a very early morning. I've got about 6.30. That's one thing I won't love about if, I fingers crossed, if I do get a job in London. That's one thing I'll probably hate about London is having to get an early morning. Get, get an early morning? Having to wake up early because I tend to stay up quite late. Literally, my cheeks are ridiculous right now. Literally, it's like I've just dabbed blusher, like stabbed myself with blusher. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I have done another alteration video. And that will be going up soon, possibly at the weekend. Um, but obviously it depends on when I get time to edit it. And because obviously next week I'm in London a week helping at this pop-up shop. So yes, I um, hope you've all had a lovely day, whatever you've done. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.